How y'all doing today? You guys right with God, man? If you were to die, where would you go? Honest question, man. You go to heaven, how do you know? No one's good without Christ, man. That's what the Bible says. So do you have Christ in your life? Is he your Lord and Savior? Yeah. You believe in him? Well, you know the Bible says even the devils believe in God and they tremble. Believing is first step, man. We must obey Christ, though. We have to obey him because, like I said, the devils believe in him and they tremble. Even some of the religious leaders, they believed in him, but they didn't want to be thrown out of the synagogues. So just make sure you're on the narrow road. Ladies and gentlemen, city of Fort Worth, Texas, we're calling you to repentance today. We're here to let you know that Jesus Christ is the answer. The Bible says in the book of Acts, chapter 4, verse 12, Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. And it's saying the time is fulfilled, the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent ye and believe the gospel. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to all who believe. Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel which I preached unto you, which also you have received, and wherein you stand, by which also you are saved. If you keep in memory what I preached unto you, unless you have believed in vain. For I delivered unto you, first of all, which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins according to the Scriptures. And he was buried and he rose again on the third day according to the Scriptures. We're here to let you know that Jesus Christ came to save sinners. He came to set the captives free. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever shall believe him shall not perish but have everlasting life. But we must obey Jesus Christ. The Bible says in the book of Hebrews chapter 5 verse 9, And being made perfect, He became not the eternal salvation to all who obey Him. Jesus says, if you love Him, you will keep His commands. Jesus says, you're His, his friends if you do whatever He commands you to do. Please, we're pleading with you today, city of Fort Worth. If you're not right with God, today's the day of salvation. That's what the Bible says. Yesterday's gone, tomorrow's not promised. Christ Jesus came, He died for your sins, He was buried and He rose again on the third day. You heard the gospel, what are you going to do with it? The Bible says in the book of Hebrews chapter 9 verse 27, It is appointed unto man once to die, and after that is judgment. Once we die, it's too late to get right with God. We're going to stand before God Almighty one day and give an account for the life we live. For every idle word we said, what we've done in dark will come to light. Are you truly on that narrow road? Just because you say you believe in Jesus doesn't mean you're going to make it to heaven. The Bible says even the devils believe in God and they tremble. Jesus Christ says in the book of Luke, chapter 6, verse 46, Why do you call me Lord, Lord, and do not the things which I say? Please, we're pleading with you today, people. Turn to the Lord. If you're not right with God, today's the day. Christ Jesus can forgive you of anything you've done. He can set you free. He came to set the captives free. Please. Jesus Christ will forgive you of anything. Come to the cross. Confess and forsake your sins. Please. Praise the Lord. Jesus Christ saves. God commands all of us to repent. He has set a day when he will judge the world in righteousness through Jesus Christ. Are you ready to be judged for the life you live? Are you ready to stand before God Almighty and give an account? Please, we're pleading with you today, people. If you're not right with God, today's the day of salvation. Call upon His name. Call, call, call upon His name in truth. Don't worship idols, idols, sports idolatry. Please, turn to the Lord. Turn to the Lord Jesus Christ. Don't die in your sins, people. Don't die in your sins. Please, turn to the Lord. Jesus Christ shed his precious blood for you. He died for your sins. He was buried and he rose again on the third day. He's coming back soon, people. Are you ready for the return of Jesus Christ? Don't die in your sins, sir. I don't want you to go to hell. I care about your soul. I care not to tell you the truth. Please, we're pleading with you today, people. Turn to the Lord Jesus Christ. Heaven or hell? Heaven or hell, the choice is yours. We all have one thing in common here today, people, that one day we're going to die. Some sooner than others. I believe it says that someone dies every two seconds in this world. The Bible says our life is like a mist of vapor. It can be here today and gone tomorrow. Here today and gone tomorrow.
If you were to die today, if you were to die today, where would you go? Where would you spend eternity? So point another man wants to die, and after that is judgment. Hebrews 9, 27. Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. Only Jesus Christ can save you. No one else. Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord will be saved. But you must call upon His name in truth. Call upon His name in truth today, people. Please, turn to the Lord. Are you people right with God? We care about your soul. Please, don't die in your sins. Don't die in your sins. God is not mocked. Whatsoever man sows, he shall also reap. Please. Christ can forgive you of anything you've done. He can set you free. He came to set the captives free. The Bible says, who the Son sets free, he is free indeed. And you shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. Please, we're pleading with you today, people. Turn to the Lord Jesus Christ. Only he can save you, no one else. Turn to the Lord today. Jesus Christ died for your sins, people. He cares about you so much. He shed his precious blood. He was buried and he rose again on the third day. Do you believe that today, people? If you do, you're going to obey Jesus Christ. Please, share the gospel with someone. There's thousands of souls out here today, people. Jesus Christ talks about a narrow road. He says few will find it. He talks about a broad road. And many are on it. The broad road that leads to hell. We care enough to tell you the truth. That if you die with Jesus, without Jesus Christ, you will not make it to heaven. You will not make it to heaven, people. Call upon his name today. Call upon his name. Jesus Christ saves. Jesus Christ is Lord. Jesus Christ is coming back soon. He's coming back with vengeance and flame and fire. Jesus Christ is God. Repent and believe the gospel. Repent today, people. Receive Jesus. Amen. Receive salvation. Amen. Found in Christ alone. No one else. Amen. Only Christ can save you. Turn to the Lord today. Praise the Lord, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is coming back. He's coming back soon. Call upon the name of the Lord in truth, people. Praise the name of Jesus. His precious holy name, the name of Jesus, the name above every name. That every knee shall bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Have you confessed that Jesus Christ is Lord? The Bible says if you confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that Jesus Christ is Lord and God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Today is the day of salvation. Yesterday is gone. Tomorrow is not promised. Today is the day of salvation, people. Don't trust in a sinner's prayer that you say, yet you're still living like the devil. There must be evidence of our salvation, new creation in Christ, new desires, a new heart. A heart for the things of God, not the things of the world. The Bible says if we're a friend of the world, we're an enemy of God. Examine yourselves today, people. Are you truly in the faith? Examine yourselves today. We care about your souls. We care enough to tell you the truth. Christ Jesus is coming back. He came to save sinners. He died for your sins, sir. He cares about you, man. I hope you know that. I hope you know that. I hope you know that, sir. He died for the police officers, too. He died for everyone. But we must receive salvation found in Christ alone. Call upon his name, repent of your sins, and turn to the Lord. Turn to the Lord today. Turn to the Lord Jesus Christ. Turn to the Lord. Please, make sure you're right with God, people. We care about your souls. We care about your souls, people. We love you enough to tell you the truth. We love you enough to tell you the truth. Are you right with God, sir? Amen. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Turn to Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is coming back. Jesus Christ died for your sins, people. He cares about you. The Bible says that the Lord takes no pleasure in the death of the wicked. 
The Bible says that God commands everyone to repent. He wants no man to perish, but to all to come to repentance. City of Fort Worth, we're calling you to repentance today. Repent and believe the gospel that Christ Jesus came. He died for your sins. He was buried and he rose again on the third day. Jesus does love you, but do you love him is the question. Please, turn to the Lord today. Jesus Christ can save you today, people. He can save you from your sin in hell. Call upon his name in truth. The Bible says the Lord is not that those that call upon him, but those that call upon him in truth. Will you call upon his name today in truth? Will you cry out to God with godly sorrow? Please, we're pleading with you today. Turn to the Lord. Turn to the Lord Jesus Christ. Turn to the Lord. Are you right with God, ma'am? He's coming. How do you know? Honest question. How do you know you're right with God? Well, do you know what the gospel is? The gospel of Jesus Christ? I do. I know do, you, it well. do you mind if I ask you what it is? Go okay. Well, he he died for your sins. He was buried and he rose again. He forgive you for anything you've done. All right. Okay. God bless you. How you doing, sir? You right with God? You right with God? He's coming back, man. Well, where's the public sidewalk at? Because there has to be an easement somewhere. Sorry? There has to be a public sidewalk somewhere, an easement. Somewhere? Yeah. Said it needs to be. <laughs> no, well, there, it, it has, there's an easement where we can exercise our freedom of speech. I, I totally understand that. I okay. totally believe in freedom of speech. Is it right there on that side then? See, that's a good question. Okay. We need to find out. Okay. Yeah, because we don't want any problems. We're not using amplification. I know that City of Fort Worth has a, right. a law against right. amplification. Right. Other cities really don't. But we're just here. Uh, we're not blocking. You don't need it anyway. What are you talking yeah. about? Well, yeah, you do sometimes at some events, man, uh, like at the Cowboy Stadium. You can reach the back, the back, uh, the back row. Brother. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's, that's impressive. Yeah. yeah oh, did you hear me over there? <laughs> yeah, I can hear you. I can hear you across the street. Amen, amen, amen. <laughs> Yeah, well, we want to abide by the law, too. That's what the Bible says. So uh, I guess if you can... Well, it's, a, it's an education for me as well. Okay. So uh, I'm the uh, assistant uh, vice chancellor for public safety here. Okay. I just want to make sure that uh, we don't in, in, uh, trans on your on your rights to do what you're doing. Okay. But we also want to make sure that we're uh, abide by school rules. Okay. That's all. So do, can you verify some of the... I want to keep preaching to these people. Man. Well, I understand that. Yeah. And uh, what I'll do is I'll, I'm going to call some people. Now, okay. And, uh, make sure that we're good to go. All right. You can do this. We can. Hey, well, sounds good. I appreciate it. What was your name, sir? Adrian Andrews. Adrian. Name? My name's Aaron. 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 Yeah. My, ba my baby brother's name is Aaron. Right. Amen. Amen. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. Mark. Yeah. Yes. I appreciate it, sir. Well, let us know if if it's if it's not a lot right here. We'll see me again. Okay. Well, thank you. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Praise the name of Jesus. Jesus Christ is coming back soon. He's coming back. We care about your souls, people. We care enough to tell you the truth. We care about you. We're warning you to flee from the wrath to come. Jesus Christ is not coming back as a teddy bear. He's coming back with vengeance and flame and fire. Jesus Christ is coming back to destroy sinners. Are you covered in the blood of Jesus? Only His blood can wash away your sins. Only Jesus can make you a new creation. The Bible says if any man be in Christ, he's a new creation. All things have passed and all things have become new. Are you a new creation in Christ? Is there evidence of your salvation? He can forgive you of anything you've done. Are you right with God, sir? You right with God, sir? You with the flag. I'm asking you a question. How do you know? Honest question, sir. How do you know you're right with God? I've been baptized now with a Christian life. Amen, amen. Stay on the stay on the narrow road, man. We must stay on the narrow road and endure to the end. Remain faithful unto death. That's what Christ says. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. He's coming back soon. Just scriptures, death, burial, resurrection. God bless you, sir. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We're here to exalt the name of Jesus, that Jesus Christ saves. No one else can save you. Not Mary, not Allah, not the Pope, not your pastor, your money, your good works, not your job. Only Jesus Christ can save you. No one else. Are you right with God is the question. 
Jesus Christ talks about a narrow road. He says, narrow is the way to life and few find it. Are you on that narrow road that leads to life? Are you truly on that narrow road, people? Please. If you're not, we're pleading with you today. City of Fort Worth, Texas. Turn to the Lord. The Bible says that no homosexual shall inherit the kingdom of God. The Bible says that no fornicator shall inherit the kingdom of God. The Bible says that no liar, no thief, no greedy, no covetous person shall inherit the kingdom of God. No extortioner. No reviler. If you're on this list right here, you were to die today, you will not make it, people. I have good news for you, though, that Christ Jesus can forgive your sins no matter what you've done. The Bible says in the book of Proverbs, chapter 28, verse 13. He that covered his sins shall not prosper, but whoso confesseth and forsaken him shall have mercy. There's mercy for you today, people. No matter what you've done, there's grace. The Bible says that God gives grace to the humble, but he resists the proud. Wherefore he saith, God resists the proud, but he gives grace unto the humble. Therefore submit yourself to God, resist the devil, and he shall flee from you. Draw nigh to God, and he'll draw nigh unto you. Cleanse your hands, ye sinners, and purify your hearts, ye double-minded. Be afflicted and mourn and weep. Let your laughter be turned to mourning, and your joy to heaviness. Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord, and he shall lift you up. There's grace for you today, people. No matter what you've done, there's mercy for your sins. Christ Jesus came to save sinners. He shed his precious blood for you. He died. He was buried and he rose again on the third day. But the best thing about it is he's coming back soon. He's coming back for his people. Are you ready for the return of Jesus Christ? 